is brought to you by Aztec Chevrolet in Beeville. Visit AztecAutoplex.com. Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Well, no snow expected here, but it sure happened in the panhandle last night and this morning. And a sign of uh, wintry weather headed our way in terms of uh, cold temperatures approaching the freezing mark here tomorrow night. Here's what's in store with this major cold front. It's a double barrel front, second barrel coming through in the next hour or so. Coldest temperature since January 17th. That's what's going to happen where we were 28 degrees on the, that date. So about 10 months. Tonight, the wind chills are going to drop into the 20s. Tuesday night, that's when we'll have the, these temperatures, freezing temperatures, here in most of the coastal bend away from the water. We do have, on a bright note, sunny days ahead. Right now, it's in the 50s area-wide, including 50 at Mathis, 55 at the Naval Air Station. Winds are out of the uh, north and howling here at 29 miles an hour. Hence, the wind advisory and the gale warnings we saw earlier offshore. And right now, the uh, wind gusts have hit as high as 43 miles an hour. So it's going to be windy all night, as you can see on our future tracker. Even at 7 in the morning, we'll be running about 15 to 25 with gusts of 35. That's going to drive the uh, wind chill to dangerous levels for the little ones off to school. They're going to need gloves, a hat, scarf, and a big coat. By Wednesday morning, we still have somewhat of a breeze that's going to add the wind chill. If these winds were calm, we would go down to a hard freeze, which is 28 or less. But I think because we have a little bit of wind, we'll stay around 30 degrees. But if you have tender plants, now's the time to protect them if you haven't done so already or water them during the day tomorrow. Winds will be light here on Thursday, so that'll make it a little bit better uh, during the afternoon hours. Now, here is the uh, future tracker on the feel like temperatures. We'll be in the 20s tomorrow morning at the bus stop and outside off to work or school. Only in the 40s tomorrow afternoon when school lets out and then tomorrow night and into Wednesday morning we drop down into the 20s on the wind chill again which only recovers into the low 50s on Wednesday afternoon. This is just absolutely incredible uh, that we're seeing this. We'll also pick up a little bit of light rain. It won't amount to more than a hundredth of an inch or two here along the coast this evening as this second uh, front pushes in. The first one came in this morning. Second one is right behind it. That's the one that has the Arctic air mixed in. It's coming straight out of north central Canada into the heart of Texas. Why is it cloudy outside? Because of this low. We've got to get the northerly flow in order for that to happen. This low is going to kick out and as it does so, we will clear out during the day tomorrow, and then we'll see sunny skies the rest of the week. The cold air will eventually leave, but not until Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. So we're in for several nights of very chilly temperatures. Again, tomorrow night will be the coldest temperature-wise. So here we are in the morning with uh, mostly cloudy skies. We do clear out during the day, and then sunny after that. It's 26 right now in Amarillo, 44 in San Antonio. The short-term forecast has uh, us dropping from the low 50s into the mid 40s by midnight and then on into the upper 30s by morning. We'll be at 38 degrees here, 35 in George West, 39 at the Naval Air Station, 42 in Point Aransas, and highs tomorrow only in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees and still on the windy side. Your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast. We're going to need some energy with this going on. 38 tonight, 49 tomorrow, then 30. Coldest temperature in 10 months, 53 here for the high Wednesday with sunshine. Gorgeous sunshine Thursday and Friday as we slowly warm up. But even Thursday morning, we start at 33. So protect the plants and don't forget to protect your pets as well. Lee, I know you've got quite a few of them running around your house. Yeah, they're already inside the house this morning. I can guarantee you that, Dale.